guys, welcome back. How are you? It's Marisa. Hope everyone is doing really great today. It is Saturday and I am just chilling here with my son today and I decided to make a video um, and I probably will post this tomorrow. I just posted a video today but I I'm going to do just this video about the Arteza um, pouring acrylics, the new pouring acrylics, and just experimenting. I will definitely keep on using them, but I just wanted to kind of like experiment. Um, and just a heads up, I am definitely getting back to uh, my chakras uh, in the beginning of the week. I definitely want to continue that probably for the rest of the week. Um, and yeah, I'm doing like Battle of the Pouring uh, mediums and stuff like that. But uh, after this video, I definitely want to get back to continuing and finishing um, the chakra videos because that's a lot of fun. And uh, but that's like a lot very emotional for me some for some reason. So I had to take a little break from that. Um, Anyway, so today we're experimenting with the Arteza. Again, um, I mixed all my colors already, and I'll tell you what colors we're using. But this is what we are experimenting with. And after this, really quickly, I am going to show you how um, some of these paintings dried. Okay, some of them came out good. Same, some of them, most of them came out good. Um, there was a slight issue with uh, one of them, or actually two of them, but anyway, you will see. So first of all, we are going to experiment with Floetrol. So here we go. I have Floetrol in my little, oops, in my little plastic container there. I have to fill it up. Um, I did strain it. So this is the strained um, Floetrol. So I put in these little cups here about, let's say, a quarter, like this much up of Floetrol and the rest paint. And again, absolutely no water. The directions of this lovely box said no water. So there is no water, okay? And then I put uh, one to two drops of the spot on 100% um, silicone in each of the cups. So that's what we're experimenting today. So as you're going to see in a minute, um, yeah, they, these paints did not react badly whatsoever to pouring medium. Uh, I'm not going to chance it with water because it specifically said no water. So I'm not even going to even bother with that. And this paint does not need water. It's liquidy enough, you know. So we have white, titanium white to be specific in this cup. We have silver, silver gray, okay, in there. We have, I believe that's sea green, sea green, if it would focus, that's awesome. <laughs> we have forest green, okay, in there. And next we have phthalo blue in that bottle right there. So those are the colors. And again, I put about a quarter up of right here of uh, Floetrol and one to two drops, uh, more like two drops of um, the 100% silicone in each cup. And I stirred the heck out of it with these little sticks here. If you don't want to know, these are the craft sticks in like the smaller size. That's what I use. All right. So in one second, I am going to show you how some of the other paintings dried. Okay. Hold on. Be right back. Hey, guys. I'm back. So I forgot to say that I'm going to be doing a flip cup today with um, these beautiful colors. Okay. Uh, definitely doing a flip cup. I'm just so curious of how it's going to react with the Floetrol and the silicone. All right, let's get right to it. 
So this is how this painting I made the other day, the other video dried. It came out perfect. Um, I think from some other painting. Uh, like I said, in my other videos I'm a little clumsy. Um, but other than that, that's my own little fault. Um, this came out beautiful. It's, like I said, matte, but it's more of like a satin finish. I hope you could see that. I'm trying to move away from the shadows. Okay. That really, here, that's better. Okay. Try not to get the shadow from my body on there. Um, so that came out perfect. And this is the one I did right before this one. Um, just that, that's actually my first, first, first time trying it out. That came out the same way. And this, those two are with absolutely no pouring medium, no water, no silicone. So that's how those came out. So like it holds the line here. It's really cool. And like I said, it's like a satin finish. It's not glossy, but it's not 100% matte. So it's really nice. So let's move on. So, these are how these dried. It, they did dry darker, and that does happen sometimes. Um, they came out a little darker. And you see that? See those cracks there? Right here. Okay. Um, that was with the tri art, but I'm going to explain in a minute. See the same thing here? Actually, let's put it that way. Otherwise, the rest of it's fine except for right here and for right here. What I think happened, now besides it dry, drying darker, but that happens, um, but it's still pretty. I still love it, you know. It has a nice finish to it. Um, the tri art made it a little bit glossier. Uh, it definitely changed the texture, you know, the, sh the finish on it, not the texture, the finish of it. Um, so it's slightly more glossy, like I expected. Uh, not the satin finish, more slightly more glossy, but not as glossy as the um, Artist Loft. What happened here, what I think happened, and it's I don't believe it is the uh, pouring medium whatsoever. I definitely didn't use water, so that's not what happened. Uh, I probably left on too much paint on the canvas, and that could happen. Um, that's from trial and error, and uh, yeah, I left the little I love the painting as it was so much. I didn't want to like run off any more paint, so I left it on, and I should have like ran off a little bit more. So I believe that is what happened. So that was my bad, my fault, um, of why those cracks happened. So it's I don't think it's the pouring medium whatsoever, but other than those little cracks, um. You know, I like texture in my painting, so it's not a big deal to me. But just remember, sometimes if you have too much paint on the canvas, when it dries, if it's, like, just too thick, it's not going to dry properly, and it's going to, like, sink, um, and like, like a depression in a way. So that can happen, and it did happen. So not a big deal. You know, things happen. So that's how those dried. Other than that, it dried nice, you know. Um, I showed you this in the other video. This is apple barrel um, paint. So the work cracks, but there were cracks in the apple barrel paint, but they didn't interact poorly together. As a matter of fact, I really like it together. Um, the paint kept like separate from the apple barrel paint, which is kind of cool. Except, like I said, the apple bell paint like cracked in here itself. But the Arteza paint did not. It worked just fine. So I love that together. And this is just a canvas board. Okay. Um, this one is like a mishmash of everything. These I did like on my own. Um, oh my goodness. This is like everything. This is Arteza Mars Black in a tube mixed with, oh, I don't even know what's in there, like either Floetrol or tri -art. And then I have some of the Arteza uh, paint with the tri -art. The pink is uh, the Arteza fluid um, paint with tri -art mixed in with the Apple Barrel and either tri -art or Floetrol paint. So I kind of like mix all three. 
It's actually these three back there, the pink, the white, and the black. So I was just having fun and just kind of going crazy. But this has some texture to it, but it also has some sheen. It's actually kind of cool. It's like most like 90% matte or 95% matte, but then there's little areas where it's glossy and it has some texture to it. I actually really like that, the way that dried. And then these I did on my own too, and I like the way they came out. Except again, it's this apple barrel paint cracked here, more in this painting, and up here. So it's this apple barrel paint um, that's not that great, that's reacting, um, no matter what I put to it. Um, but it does have some pouring medium in it. But anyway, I love, still like the way it came out, even though the cracks are a little annoying. Um, but I still like the way this came out. These are Arteza, the fluid pouring paints. Uh, yeah, that cracks pretty bad though. Um, but this one, for some reason, it's the same thing, the Arteza pouring paint with the apple barrel white, but for some reason, this one did not crack at all. And I really love the way that came out too. So, those are me playing around, and these I did for the video, these three. One, two, three. Yeah, so that's how these dried. I just wanted to share that with you. And, you know, honestly, I am loving these paints. I have to say, the colors are gorgeous. Um, and, you know, me, I love experimenting with adding all kinds of stuff to it. So, so far, so good. I'm loving it. And uh, I will be back in a minute with the pour, okay? All right, guys, see you in a minute.
Hey guys, I am back, and I let this guy sit for about, I'm going to say a good 30 minutes. Um, sometimes when you put silicone and uh, pouring medium, the paint continues to like kind of interact with those chemicals and stuff, and uh, it could do some other stuff. So, I love this. Um, I think it came out beautiful. The colors are gorgeous. I love the palette I chose. The gray and the white with the dark blue and that sea green is just gorgeous. And I'm really happy with it. Um, I got some nice cells, some beautiful flow through here, some wonderful... Um, you know, the patterns and the textures are just gorgeous. I made sure I ran off, um, you know, some more paint just in case because uh, I didn't think I was going to have enough paint. I wound up definitely having more than enough paint. So let me know what you think about it. Leave a comment below. Sound off below in the comments. And let me know if you like these paints. Let me let me know if you're going to think of buying them. And if you are thinking of buying them, um, I don't have a code. Uh, I'm nowhere near that level yet. Um, but, you know, uh, Arteza definitely has um, codes that you can look up on the internet and um yeah you can get like 15 to 20 percent off you also like on their website you accrue points so yeah and there's all different ways of uh you know saving money for these paints because it is about 50 to 60 dollars so yeah you know it could be a little expensive but you do get a lot of different colors and a lot of different paints like I said, you get four whites and two blacks, so yeah, and you don't have to use anything with it. You don't have to use Floetrol, you don't have to use anything with it. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think. I love this. I think it came out beautiful. And listen, guys, it is the end of the video. Thank you so much for being here today. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for to everyone for your support. I am really enjoying doing this. I'm having a great time and I hope you are too. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos, okay? All right guys, bye. See you next time.